Hey guys, so IC Station sent me this 800 kilovolt module to review. I'll uh, put a link in the description where you can get this. I want to start this video by saying that this video is not sponsored. They sent me this to review, but no one is paying me to review it. No one's paying me to say good things about this product. No one's paying me to say bad things about this product. So I had people that said that one of my previous videos was sponsored content, and that's not the case. I have never had a sponsored video. So, okay. So anyway, you've seen this quote-unquote 400 kV module in a previous video of mine, and it turned out to only be 10,000 volts. Now this looks like they use the exact same case, it's the exact same diameter, uh, shape, size. It just looks like they basically put two in series, and so they go from 400 kV to 800 kV, which is, it's not the case. It's just, it's not. So it's just a, a marketing gimmick and there's nothing to stop them from uh, rating this at whatever they want to rate it at. I couldn't actually get a voltage measurement on this because if I put the, the, the probes on this and spread it too far apart, I can actually hear it arcing internally. But I don't think they just took the exact two units and put them in series. I've actually done that in, uh, I've done that myself. I, I put two in series and I put two in parallel, but this is actually really impressive. I'm getting over two inch sparks here with a 3.7 volt lithium being boosted up to 5 volts and you can see that actually I'm getting 2 inch sparks which is really impressive so it's definitely not 800 kV but this is really closer to a police grade taser. It is pushing 50 kV or so. So this is actually just a little blank power bank and you can put any battery you want inside. So you can choose to put a Samsung or an LG or a high quality lithium in there. And I find that better than just buying it with the battery in it. So they have a little charge circuit and the enclosure and then so all you have to do is put your battery in it close it up and then you have a basically a nice reusable power bank so when the battery eventually dies on you and uh, doesn't quite have the capacity that it did when it was new you can just swap that out so I'm actually recording this at 60 frames per second and it doesn't get every single arc so let's try to bump up the frame rate a little bit Okay, so let's take a look at some slow motion footage. Yeah, so I'd say this this little quote unquote 800 kV unit is quite a bit scarier than the the other unit that's pretty commonly used across YouTube for making little stun guns. So definitely don't want to uh, get shocked at that. See you guys later.